To create a part program, press the P program key. Cursor over to the left side of the screen using the arrow keys. Highlight Create New Part. Press Enter. The CNC will select the next program number that is available. Press Enter to continue or type a new program number and press Enter. Add a comment for the part name. We will type sample for our comment. Press Enter when you are done. The program has been created and is highlighted. Now press Enter to insert your first operation. To execute the cycle, press Escape twice. You now see that there is a Cycle Start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press the Cycle Start button to begin executing the cycle. Slowly increase the feed rate after pressing Cycle Start to advance in the program. If gear ranges are an option on your machine, you may be prompted to change to the correct gear. Change gear and press Enter to continue. Continue turning up the feed rate so the execution can continue. To see additional information while the program is being executed, use the half key to toggle between basic and advanced screen. While the program is executing, you have the ability to use tool inspection to offset the tool dimensions or review the part. To use tool inspection, while the program is in execution, press the cycle stop button, then press the T key. In the upper left hand side of the control, you will see a comment that we are now in inspection mode. At this point, we are able to jog the axis out of the way and stop the spindle. We can also go to the tool calibration and modify the tool offsets. When done modifying or inspecting the part, press the cycle start button to recover. The CNC will prompt you with options on how you would like to recover. Start the spindle first by selecting M3 and press cycle start. Then select X and Y and again press cycle start. Now that X and Y are positioned, select Z and press cycle start. You have repositioned all the axes to the last program block before interruption. The CNC now waits for one last cycle start to continue the execution of the cycle. When the execution of the bidirectional milling operation is complete, it will be necessary to calibrate the next operation's tools on the newly established part surface that was just machined. Tools 6, 7, and 2 will need to be calibrated at this time. Here is a quick review of the tool calibration process learned in previous steps. Press Tool Calibration key. Select the tool you want to calibrate by pressing the T key followed by the tool number and press the cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press the cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. Using the jog keys of the hand wheel mode, jog the tool to the top of the part surface. Once touching the top of the part, press Z, followed by Enter. The CNC will measure and update the L value. L is the tool length, K is equal to any tool wear. At this time, there's no need to define K, arrow down to continue. R is the radius of the tool. I is any radius wear on the tool. Repeat the previous steps for all remaining tools at this time. We are now ready to continue with the rest of our operations.